autumn wind sighs through the towers of Desmond Hall, as if mourning the dead and those who will soon die. For the ancient family mansion echoes with secrets, and the sounds of whispering voices float through the halls like scarlet moths. One life, one life, the whispers seem to say, is most in danger. One woman knows too many secrets at Desmond Hall. But which one out of four condemned women will be the first to die? You see, she took down the book, and there we were. Emily, Holly, Miss Rowley, and me. Well, perhaps it's your imagination, Agatha. It's an old book, and the ladies could resemble anything that you put your mind to. Oh, no. Look again, it's the four of us as clear as day. And uh, where is Emily now? I put her to bed. She's a sweet girl, but tired. Suffering from exhaustion, I think. Oh, Agatha's shown you the picture. An amusing coincidence, don't you think? Yes. Amusing. Well, I don't think it's funny. Not one bit. She walked as though she were in a trance, you know. She walked over to the bookshelves and took down that book and opened it. But when she did, and I saw the picture, I felt the hangman's rope around my throat. It burned. It got tighter. Desmond. It really did. What is it? Why are you staring at me? That mark. A mark of a rope around your neck. Yeah. Rope burned nonsense. She put her own hand on her neck so tightly that she irritated it. I think you enjoy ghost stories, don't you, love? Yes, I do. But not when they're about me. Jean-Paul, what should I do? Well, I should put a little scarf around it, and then no one will notice. Jean-Paul. Agatha, you've been frightened. I am frightened. Look, I'm, I'm glad that you came back here to Desmond Hall. I'm very sorry that I sent you away, Agatha. But you see, I was afraid. Afraid, Mr. Desmond? Afraid for Emily. But I wouldn't hurt her. I wouldn't hurt anyone. I told you that. So why is someone trying to hurt me? Miss Raleigh, there's so much I should tell you. So many things you've got to understand about me. I, I never meant any harm. It was him who meant to harm me in the beginning. And then the others... I... Agatha, go to your room. I don't want to. I want to talk to people about all the dangers around us. Agatha, you're upset. Now you must rest. I don't want to be alone in my room. They'll try to kill me. Who will try to kill you? The same people who want to see you dead. Well, go ahead. Die if you want to. If you won't believe me, if you won't trust and listen to everything I say, then let them kill you. Agatha! Keep on! Keep on! Mr. Desmond. Yes? You didn't believe a word she was saying, did you? I don't know. But you're not afraid? Not of death. You're a very brave man, Mr. Desmond. Come. Come and sit and talk with me. 
I have a great deal to learn about a man who doesn't fear death. Come, sit down. I want to know all about you and about Erica. I have to talk to you. I have to tell someone. Agatha, what is it? Will you listen to me? Yes, of course I will. I thought everything was going to work fine. I thought Mr. Desmond was going to listen to me and know I'm a friend. But he seems to be more interested in that actress. But now I know he's not going to listen to me. And they're going to get me. Who's going to get you? I know everything. I do. Agatha! I'm scared. Very scared. They tried to kill me the other night because I wouldn't do what they wanted me to do. Because I was loyal to Mr. Desmond. Who are they? Agatha, tell me, what are you talking about? Nobody cares what I have to say. Nobody's going to believe it anyway. But if somebody tried to kill you... Agatha, are you sure? I mean, are you sure? You see? You see, you don't believe me either. Well, I could go to the police about Mr. Jean-Paul Desmond if I wanted to. He knows that. You're overexcited. You, you should try to get some sleep. But will I wake up? Will I ever wake up again? Holly. Oh, Holly, listen to me. Because I want someone to know I'm not telling stories or lying. There is a coven of witches in Desmonton. Witches? Yes. And they want to get rid of Jean-Paul the way... The way they got rid of Philip. Witches got rid of Philip? He's gone, isn't he? Disappeared? Well, they wanted me to do the same thing to Jean-Paul. Because you wouldn't do it for them. Hey. I've, I've never had anything to do with witches. But they had something to do with you, Holly. Holly, tell me something. Tell me the truth. Did you kill Philip Desmond? You are crazy. Get out of here. Did you? Did they make him? Get out of here, Jean Paul! Then you won't listen to me. Oh, when I'm dead, you'll see. You'll see. Jean Paul! All of you. Agatha. Get her out of here, please. Get her out of here. With him. I won't go with him. You seem to be disturbing, Miss Holly. <laughs> I won't go with you. If you won't come peacefully, then I shall have to force you. <laughs> You're hurting me, Mr. Saxon. Don't hurt her. It's just well, I couldn't stand her listening to some of the things she was saying. I wouldn't hurt you, Agatha. But you're disturbing the lady. Some someday you'll know what you've done to me. Take me to Jean Paul. I want Jean Paul. Of course, Agatha, but come along now. He won't, you know. Goodbye, Holly. Agatha! Philip? Philip? Can you hear me? It can't be true. I never knew you when you were alive. I never even saw you until you were a spirit. But then maybe if... if I was under the spell of witches, I wouldn't remember. Oh, Philip. Is that why you left me? Did I kill you? <laughs>
know this place. Where have you taken me? To a little used room where no one will disturb you and you will be free to think about the wrong you have done. I haven't done anything wrong. By refusing to join our little circle of witches, you have hurt your parents, two of our most outstanding members. And you have hurt me very deeply by attempting to tell Mr. Desmond of our secrets. And he'll find out. I know he will. And he'll come here. No one will and... come here. No one will disturb you. Because since you came to Desmond Hall, this room has been the home of the Serpent God. What are you talking about? You prayed to the Serpent God. You have been his servant since you discovered his altar in the river caves when you were a child. I never served him. I had my friend, my pet snake, and I asked him for favors, that's all. Your little pet snake is dead. He was crushed to death in this room. And since then, the Serpent God has appeared to anyone who remains alone in this room and wraps his coils around them and crushes them. You can't make me stay here. There is no way out. He wouldn't kill me. He wouldn't kill me because I've never hurt him. I've never hurt anybody. Come here, Agatha. Dear girl, I don't want you pacing about or pounding on the door. I think you should be very nicely tied up while you await the appearance of your serpent god. Yes, at Mel Jardin. My wife had wanted a portrait of herself done. Of course, I commissioned it at the time. But when it turned out that it was not my wife at all, but someone else, the portrait took on an evil. Erica was an actress, too. Yes. That is, until we were married, and then... And then? And then she wanted to devote the rest of her life to me. <laughs> so she said, and she did just that until she died. A very tragic story, Jean-Paul. I wish there was something I could do to alleviate the pain you've suffered. No, she's gone. She's dead. I look at you and I see her again. I speak with you, I hear her voice. But Erica is dead. But you haven't told me what happened before she died. What do you mean? Well, Holly said a strange thing to me. She said Erica killed, killed Holly's mother. That was not my wife. That was a, a demon who was sent after her death. A demon who I burned at Maljardin. I'm sorry I brought it up. I know it must be very painful to you. It's an awful memory for a man to recall that he burnt his wife alive. That was not my wife I burned. That was a devil who destroyed my life. Hmm, I'd like to hear about that. The awful memories of Jean-Paul Desmond. I didn't hear you knock. Oh, I seldom knock. I made you a present. A star. Because of your performance. Would you like a performance, Jean-Paul? I have never seen Miss Raleigh perform. But she just did, just now. You were listening at the door. Well, I wasn't going to deprive myself of such a performance. The acting skill caused my cousin to say things I've never even heard. Court, you are being very rude, and I do not like your accusations. Well, I'm sorry, cousin. But I just wanted to make sure that Miss Raleigh was impressed by the fact that I'm the last of the Desmond lie. You see, if Jean-Paul disappears or dies, I become the heir to the Desmond fortune. It becomes mine, Miss Raleigh. No lady can inherit the Desmond fortune. If it was possible, my mother would have been a very rich woman today. I thought that some fiscal advice might be of interest to you. you keep the star. You've earned it. I'm sorry. Sometimes he says things which he doesn't mean. Oh, there's no need to apologize, Jean-Paul. I want to meet everyone at Desmond Hall. And know them well. Even if they are unpleasant young men. Here. You look my 
us comfortable. Even devotion. I suggest you start saying your prayers even before your serpent god appears. Wait. Oh, no. I do not like to interfere in any rituals, Miss Pruitt, especially one that leads to your death. Peter? Peter, is that you? Say it is. You were my friend always. I didn't want you to die. They thought you were just a small snake. But you took care of me. You helped me. Help me now, Peter. Miss Raleigh are having a, are sharing confidences, and they object to any interruptions. I have to see Jean-Paul. Why, Holly? Why can't you talk to me? After all, who else knows more about your problems than I do? Unless it's a ghost of Philip. I don't want to talk about Philip with you. Am I not your friend anymore, Holly? I'm not sure. I, I don't know who's my friend anymore. That upsets me. Here I try to spread sunshine in Desmond Hall and help those that are in need. And yet, no one trusts me. I wonder why. Holly, do you love Philip Desmond? Yes. A ghost that might not even come back again. Yes, it doesn't matter. If... I found him for you if I brought you to him. Would you trust me then? Can you? You're lying to me. How could you possibly find him? I said if, Holly. I want you to like me. I want that very much. Get away from me. Holly! Leave me alone. Don't touch me again. I'm warning you. Oh, I understand. <laughs> you want a dream lover, not a kiss from a man. You're not a man. You're a child, a silly, spoiled child. Holly, what's the matter? Nothing. She wants to see you, dear cousin. Good night, Holly. Pleasant dreams. Don't you remember? Remember, I was just a little girl, and in the caves, I asked you to make my mother and father stop being witches. I told you I wanted to be good, and I have been. But it wasn't like this. The serpent was gentle. When I looked into his eyes, I saw love. tragedy, Holly. Well, I never thought of a kiss from a young man as a cause for concern. I find that very touching. Are you laughing at me? I would never do that, darling. I'm afraid you're confusing me with somebody else. Helena, it's uh, getting rather late. I'd uh, like to speak to Holly alone. Would you mind? Oh, not at all. I'm rather tired after a very interesting evening myself. I'd like to thank you. I was... Uh, I wondering if you'd object if I did what all the other young people here do. Kiss you good night. Good night, Helena. Good night. Holly, I believe court 
said that you had something to talk to me about. What? About Agatha Pruitt. What about her? Well, she came to my room a little while ago, and she was talking so strangely about deaths and secrets and warnings. It didn't seem to make any sense. And then I called for you, but well, Laszlo came and took her away. Took her away? After a while, I went to look for her, but oh, she's so lonely, and I felt so sorry for her, but well, I couldn't seem to find her anywhere. We've got to find her. Jean-Paul! Claude! 